Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Mimi Vincent here with you for Computer Basics. This video is really helpful for the students. In this video, I am going to explain how to insert the index table or the table of contents in LibreOffice Writer document. Now, for that, I would like to open uh, LibreOffice Writer software okay for that click applications menu office sub menu and you can choose LibreOffice writer now I would like to open one document which is uh, named science magazine which I had created in my previous video so I would like to open that file for you and uh, yeah so this is the science magazine uh, which I had already created during my previous video so here actually this is a, a magazine but there is no index table okay so I would like to insert one index table like this I'll show you one another document uh, the same document with index table I'll show you that yeah this one this is the same document of science magazine but with the index table or table of contents so let's go in details how to insert the index table like this okay so for that I would like to close this document yeah and this is the magazine where we have to insert the index table so as a student uh, you may have noticed the table of contents given at the beginning of your course books or any other kind of books or magazines actually this index table helps to understand what the book or magazine contains and on which page each chapter begins and so on let us see how this table can be created without typing it and what are the advantages okay now let's build the table of contents of this science magazine document so first of all we have to take the cursor to the place where the table of contents appear so here just above this first main heading uh, we have to just insert one blank line over there and you just click the mouse over there and place the cursor right there and you have to set the alignment normally the table of contents are located at the left position the left side of the page so i would like to click this option align left option on the toolbar over there okay now we can go to insert menu we can choose the index table from the insert menu okay the most of the options whatever things you would like to insert like header photo or, um, or any kind of text box or image or index table so or page number so like these things will be uh, by default it will be available inside insert tab so i like to select inside insert tab and uh, here table of contents and index and from here we have to click table of contents index or bibliography option right over there now i'm choosing that option this is so easy peasy lemon squeezy japanese okay yeah i just um said f1 okay here actually we can see uh, see so many things over here and we can choose the main thing or uh, the the background color of the index table it can be a little bit more colorful otherwise uh, by default it will be like uh, 
oh no fill color and gray background color so we can make it as a little bit colorful uh, matching with the document so our document is light greenish color so i like to choose the green okay i like to choose this green okay or this green yeah fine this green is matching with the other pages of the same document that's it now i'm going to click ok button wow so you can see without typing the table of contents the software automatically created the table of contents with the main headings and subheadings accordingly without typing it how it happened how the software uh, does this option and facility it does this by recognizing the styles given for the main headings and subheadings wow that's an amazing option or we can say that it's an amazing feature of LibreOffice writer yeah so now we have created the index table this is called index table and there is one thing suppose if we are moving the cursor to any one of the headings suppose i'm going to move the cursor near engaging role play like that it's in page two so what is uh, displaying over there when we are bringing the cursor over the he uh, heading or subheading it's uh, one tool tip text is shown just uh, below the line it's showing that it's a link same like hyperlink it's a link where you can press the control key on your keyboard and you just click the left button of your mouse so automatically that particular page will be displayed on the screen so what you have to do suppose i would like to open engage in role play this topic in page two so what i have to do i have to click uh, i have to click the mouse left button as well as the control key on the keyboard now i press the control key on my keyboard and now i'm going to click the left button see now automatically the software took us to the respective content and page two you can see page number over here same way if i would like to choose Alice's Adventures in Wonderland that's in page 6 so no need to search the entire document for a particular topic you just press the control key on your keyboard and you just click the mouse left button that's an amazing feature wow now we are in page 6 Alice's Adventures in Wonderland see the page number over there page number six so here we can understand that if we click at any line on the contents page with the control key pressed the link gets activated and takes us to the corresponding page now we can modify the style of this index table same like in our document formatting styles we had changed in the previous video in the same way we can change the headings or subheadings formatting style in the index table too so i will demonstrate how to do that first suppose i would like to change the table of contents its font style and font color and i would like to uh, bring one underline over here i want to display this main heading like table of contents in italics so how can i change what i have to do you just click over there and you see in the styles box 
okay in the style box set paragraph style box here automatically it's it's been selecting table of contents okay i have to choose that and you have to just click over there wait a second my computer is stuck over here Yeah. Now, guys, if if you are table this window, la that one set paragraph style. If it is not uh, working or functioning sometimes, or if your software is stuck sometimes, so what do you have to do? If you are clicking anything, if you're if you're, if you're clicking anywhere and if it is not displaying anything over here, no need to be panicked. You just right click over here, here in the document itself, and here you can go to the styles option because we have to edit the style. So just click edit style. Here I would like to, I had mentioned before uh, that I would like to change the font options like um, I would like to change it as italic and the font effects like um, I would like to make one underline so here see you can see here underlining underlining there is no underline so you can choose from here i like to make one single underline with the color like um, red color that's fine i think so then i would like to change the font color to i would like to change the font color like um, bright green okay i think it will be pretty good we can see the preview over here then if you want to highlight no problem you can highlight suppose if I will choose the light yellow color ok now let's see how it will be yeah see now the main heading like table of contents it's changed Suppose uh, this one also, if I want to change the content, this one, five tips, this one, if I, if, if I would like to change what I have to do, you just click on here and go to the format, paragraph style box, just click over the small arrow, then you go to edit style. Then here you can change the font color or font style. We can change it suppose if it is italic okay italic then if I want to change the font color like red color okay that's it click OK wow wonderful so it's changed so like that you can change the contents uh, of the index table it's a style you can change it's formatting you can it's a style you can format or you can edit now let's see how to save this document as pdf file so we can export the document as PDF file. So for that, you have to just go to File menu and click Export as option. Then choose Export as PDF. Here, no need to do anything over here. You just click Export, and here you can select your folder and subfolder, and you can type the file name. Here already I had typed uh, the file name copy pics. I would like to change it as copy index table. Okay, all right. Now I'd like to save. Just click save button. Now the document is saved as PDF format.
Now, I would like to show you how the PDF file uh, looks like. I would like to close this. Here is the uh, document is in home folder. I have saved in documents folder. My subfolder is the enemy. Mm, yeah, not here. I will show you from documents itself. And uh, yeah, it's over here. Yeah, this is our document PDF file. Just I will open it for you. See, this is the PDF file format. Index table, Science Magazine copy index table dot PDF is the file name, and you can see the details and very fine science magazine well arranged science magazine with the index table now our video has come to an end i hope that you got a lot of information from this video regarding liberal office writer if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon over there to get the notifications about my latest videos thanks for watching take care see you in the next video bye